Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get Android 10 up and running on your PC or laptop. Now before we get started, I do want to get a few things out of the way. We're going to be using Bliss OS 12 and this is still an alpha, but I've had really good luck with it on several different devices that I've installed it on. This laptop here was a cheap Black Friday pickup. I paid $99 for it. It's got two gigs of RAM and an Intel N4000 CPU. I've been running Bliss OS 12 on this for the last couple days from USB and everything functions properly. I got brightness control, sound, HDMI out, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. So this has been running in live mode from the USB, but the only issue with that is after you reboot your system, none of your changes will be saved. So if you sign into Google Play or anything like that, you'll have to re-sign in and download all of your apps. I plan on installing this to the internal drive, which is going to wipe my Windows installation. And I personally don't mind doing this because I'm going to be experimenting with different operating systems on this small laptop anyway. But if you have a desktop or a laptop that supports more than one hard drive, I recommend installing another hard drive or SSD and running Android from that. I personally don't recommend wiping your full Windows installation just to run Android on your PC. But you can run it in live mode from a USB without wiping anything on your internal hard drive. So you can test it out on the PC you want to run it on just to see if everything functions properly. And then if it really comes down to it, you could install this to your internal hard drive. Another thing I've experimented with, but haven't had much luck, was installing this to another USB drive while it's all plugged into the PC. Unfortunately, it's just not working out for me on any of my machines. So as it sits right now, you're either going to be stuck running in live mode or install it to an internal hard drive or eMMC. And like I said, I don't mind installing it to the internal eMMC on this machine here. But keep in mind, it will wipe all the data that's on the drive you're installing it to. This is not a dual boot or a triple boot video. I don't deal with them on my channel. So I'm just going to be installing this to the internal storage on this mini laptop. So if you're ready to get Android 10 up and running on your PC, let's get started. So let's go ahead and get Bliss OS 12 installed on our USB drive. I do have one plugged into my PC here. This is a 64 gigabyte USB 3.0 drive and I do recommend USB 3.0 because it will boot up faster and install faster. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. Next thing we need to do is head over to the XDA post. This is the Bliss OS 12 development post. Like I mentioned, these are alpha builds, but I've had really good luck with them. We're gonna scroll down here till we find the Bliss OS 12 alpha downloads. So I thought this was pretty cool, but since this is an alpha, they've added a secret download button on their website and a passphrase that you have to enter to get to that download. Now I can't ruin the passphrase for you, but I can tell you that it is located in this first post here. You just have to find it and uh, you'll find the hint. So just keep looking through here and you can get right to it. But as soon as you find that passphrase, we're going to head over to the Bliss OS x86 website, scroll all the way down until we find this little phone. And right here, you need to type out that passphrase you found in that XDA post. Like I said, I can't ruin it for the developers, but as soon as it's typed in correctly, it will pop up, go to downloads, and we can download it right here. It's just going to take a second. It'll start downloading. It's one gig. And while this is downloading, we need to get an application to flash that image to a USB drive. We're going to be using Etcher. I'm on a Windows PC, but this also works for Mac and Linux. I'm going to download the Windows version here. And as soon as the Bliss OS image and Etcher is downloaded, I'm going to place it on my desktop for easy access. So I've got everything downloaded. Here's the Bliss OS 12 image and Etcher. We're going to start up Etcher. From within Etcher, we're going to select image. I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where I have the Bliss OS image. I'm going to select my USB drive. Make sure you're selecting the correct drive. And click flash. This is going to flash the image to the USB drive. And when we're finished with this, we can move over to the PC we want to run this on. Like I said, you can run this in live mode from the USB, and I do recommend doing that from the start just to make sure everything functions properly. But if you do want to install this to the internal hard drive, I'll also go over those steps. It's really easy to do. So the image is now flashed to my USB drive. I'm just going to close this down, grab my USB drive, and move back to the laptop I want to install this on. All right, so I have the USB drive we just installed, Bliss OS 12 too. I'm going to plug it into this PC. 
And when you're booting this up, you will have to enter the boot menu. I know for a fact that on this machine here, I have to hit F12 when the computer is starting up to enter the boot menu, but other PCs may be different. You might have to do a little searching online to find out what hotkey you have to hit to enter your boot menu. Some use F12, some use F11, some use F2, and some even use delete. So you might have to do some research. So as soon as we get into the boot menu, I'm gonna choose my USB drive. This is listed as a SanDisk Ultra. So I'm gonna scroll down to it using the arrow keys on the keyboard, and I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna to start to boot from that USB drive. You'll be presented with the Android x86 Grub screen, and there is a countdown, so go ahead and press one of your arrow keys real quick. That'll stop the countdown. The very top option is the one I recommend doing before you do any kind of installation. This will run Bliss OS 12 in live mode from the USB, but keep in mind, nothing is stored on the USB. So if you sign into Google Play or download any apps, they will be deleted when you reboot. If you wanna go ahead and install this to an internal hard drive, scroll down to Advanced Options, and you'll find an option in here listed as Auto Install to Specified Hard Disk. I'm gonna choose this option, once we're in this menu, we'll see every drive that's connected to this PC. The very top one is my removable drive. That's my USB stick that I have Bliss OS installer located on. And the one right at the bottom is marked hard disk. That's my internal 64 gigabyte storage on this mini laptop. I'm gonna install it to the internal storage. This will wipe all of your data. I do have Windows installed on this right now, but I don't mind wiping that. So I'm gonna press enter. You've chosen the auto installation. The installer will erase the whole hard drive. This is the last confirmation. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to press yes. And it's going to format my internal hard drive and install Android 10 to it. When it's finished, you'll get the option to run Bliss OS now or reboot. I recommend doing a reboot. We're going to highlight reboot, press OK, exit, and I'm going to pull the USB stick from my computer. Now this is installed on my internal hard drive. I can go ahead and choose the first option or just let it sit and it will automatically boot into Android 10 after a few seconds. So the very first boot is going to be a lot longer than any other time you boot this up. It just has to get everything ready on the hard drive. But as long as you see the startup animation, you should be good to go. Just let this finish up and it'll boot us right into Android 10. So I just went ahead and plugged this into my game capture so we could get a better look at it. On the first boot, you're going to be asked to select the home app. I use the taskbar for Bliss OS, always. And there you have it. You're now running Android 10 on your PC. Very easy to set up. Battery indicator over here. You want to connect to Wi-Fi. It's just like an Android device. We'll go into settings here. Network. now connected to Wi-Fi, so I can head down to the little bliss icon in the bottom left-hand corner, open up the Play Store, and you're going to have to sign in just like you would with any kind of Android device. You can start downloading your favorite games here. Now keep in mind a lot of these do require touch screens, so if your laptop or PC doesn't have touch screen built in, you might have a hard time playing it, but there's a lot of games that do support controllers, and if you have Bluetooth built in, you can connect an Xbox One controller very easily. So as for being an alpha, I have had really good luck with Bliss OS 12. I've tried it on two different PCs and it's working pretty well on this low-end laptop. It also supports multi-windows, so you can go ahead and open up several apps at the same time. I got YouTube, Google Chrome, and Google Play going. You can resize the app or open up a new one if you want to. Overall, it's been working relatively well, but I'm sure it's going to get a lot better, so definitely keep an eye on the Bliss OS website. I have run into a few app crashes here and there, like King of Fighters from the Google Play Store. I'm not even sure if that supports x86 or not, but hopefully that'll be fixed down the road. And before I get out of here, I did run a quick Geekbench 4 on this little laptop for single core 2016 multi 3597. This is actually higher than it was on Windows, and I'm not sure why that is, but this little N4000 CPU definitely trucks along with Android 10.
But that's pretty much it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. If you're into Android on PC, definitely give this a try, at least in USB live mode. You're not going to risk anything, but nothing is saved to that USB. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running in Bliss OS 12 on this little PC, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.